So that was as far as we got on our trip up the mountain to the National Park, which I was kind of looking forward to because I love the mountains, but honestly the roads were getting narrower and that hairpin bend just, it was getting steeper and steeper and we didn't feel it was wise to take Gus the bus up any farther. Anyway, and also those narrow streets going through, I think it's Pago was the town where we were we yeah, just sure. we just um, drove through. That was a little nerve wracking. I have to say, Jeff did stay very calm, but I was gripping the sides of my seats going, oh, what if we can't get through? But anyway, we did get through. But, you know, we decided to, um, we decided to call a halt. A shame, really, because I love the mountains and Gus the Bus isn't really the sort of vehicle that you really want to be taking up a mountain. I think it's Altia yeah. we're going to next, which is supposed to be very beautiful and will be just as good. And I have to just not think about mountains because it's not going to happen, is it? Breezy up here, but it was worth the walk. Old Tier, Old Town. Old Tier, Old Town. It's lovely, wasn't it? It's very nice. But we like the fact that the floor is quite Portuguese with the black and white pebbles. It's really, really pretty. I was wondering why we don't see more of that in in Spain because we haven't really. Coffee's good too. Yeah, coffee's good too. It's really pretty up here. You wouldn't want to base yourself up here if you wanted to go to the beach very often though. Not that you'd be beach ready by the time you'd been here for about four or five days. Your thighs would be looking splendid. Anyway, we're going to have another look around.
I really like the way they have matching tiles on the underside of the balcony and the roof. Look. Isn't that lovely? I approve. A knitting shop! Another knitting shop! There is, I want to say preponderance. Preponderance, that's a good word, isn't it, Jeff? Is that? Preponderance. There is a preponderance of knitting shops in Spain and France. I'm going to have to use that word more often. I think we'll go and get a drink. Everywhere's closed, which is fine because it's Sunday. And this is very nice. There's not a lot other than just padding the streets, which is what we do a lot of. Hey, let me hold your arm. <laughs> Just cut one, you can make it. <laughs> hey! That's your new buddy! Where's your buddy? There he is. He's still going. Oh, are you tired now? Go on then, Jeff. Show us what you've discovered. Oh my goodness! Is it light flashes? Is it just a flashing light, or is it actually central locking? I've no idea. <laughs> Plumbing and heating, Jeff. Marrera, plumbing and heating. That's what we desperately need. Let's plumb, Janice. <laughs> We're going to buy emergency lighting. Do you remember in that other video where I said emergency lighting is what we're going to do? We didn't do it. We ran out of solar today. Because <laughs> I've done so many readings, I've run the solar out of charging devices. So now we have to go find emergency lighting. No pressure, then. like when we have no solar um, we bought candles 
we did have some emergency lighting. Look, we've got we've got this one up here, and then oh, we've got a battery light over there. There you go, like that. Torchy. We've got a candle there. We've got Torchy. As <laughs> Jeff has affectionately named it. Um, we've been having more plumbing problems, and that, to be honest with you, is the more serious of our issues. Now, look, I would have filmed it, but there are some things that a guy does not want his wife to do, and one of those is to film him while he's crawling under the bus, getting filthy, more and more frustrated, and me pointing a camera at him is really not going to do much for our marital relations. But we've got water backing up into the sink. I tried all the eco solutions. I looked it up online. I filled the sink with bicarb, lemon juice and vinegar. It makes a really good fizzy foam. <laughs> it was quite impressive. <laughs> but it did nothing for the blockage. And then we brought Mr Muscle down there and it cleared it in about we've two bought, minutes. We've bought, we have we've rodded it we also bought a long springy roddy thing we rodded it from both <laughs> both ends uh that didn't clear it and so now jeff's put mr muscle down there and it looks like the water has gone down from the plug hole because it was sitting it has not been easy today and i've been doing loads of readings as well in between so it's been a bit of a juggling act anyway hopefully tomorrow the sink will work we shall update you in the meantime we're here in a candlelight gust the bus we're about to have an early night <laughs> because because that's, nothing else to do that's what there is to do oh and we are of course back in marrera we didn't tell you that we came back to marrera because um it actually we really like it here and because we were having problems with the plumbing at least it is a place we're down in the beach car park which is really really nice and accessible and everything is in within easy reach there is no brico there is no was it Leroy Marlin? The Leroy Merlin, but there are three different uh, hardware shops. Three there was the Ferreteria, the Ferreteria, which is the hardware shop, and then there was the the, the bazaar, which is like a sells a bit of everything, and then there's a big bazaar which sells everything of everything, which is completely bizarre. Yeah, and, then, and like almost from nine in the morning till nine thirty at night, seven <laughs> days a week. <laughs> so that's why we came back to Marrera because Brico does not Because seem... we need hardware shops. We need hardware shops. This is the glamour of van life, people. Just so you know, if you're ever tempted, just re-watch this video and look at us sitting here in candlelight with a sink that doesn't work and ask yourselves, is this really living the dream? Is it? Ask me in the morning and I'll tell you. No night. Good night. Morning, campers. Well, I mean, the lights are on. Put the Mr. Muscle down last night, and we had high hopes because it seemed to go down the sink. And then this morning, put the boiling water down, which we're supposed to do to flush the system, and it just came straight out the, the overflow again under the sink. So, we're going to have to take the trap off and everything underneath the sink and we're not keen to do it because, as I have said before, neither of us are natural plumbers. It's just such a bore. So poor Jeff, he's really not looking forward to this. The thing is that even if we get the trap off, what we're worried about is that we won't be able to get it back on properly so it doesn't leak. So I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Well, I do. We're going to take the trap off. Still, never mind. It's a beautiful day. All will be well. I mean, the absolute worst, worst, worst case scenario is that we can't tip stuff down the sink, which means um, we're going to have to just use a bowl and dispose of it down the drain somewhere, washing up and stuff. So, you know, 
that's not so bad. Quick update. The plumbing under the sink is all wrong. Jeff took a photograph of it um, to a local shop that does plumbing stuff and um, they looked at it and said, ha, ah, yes, your outlet pipe into the waste is about a quarter of the size that it should be. And uh, not only that, but the trap under the sink has been sealed shut so we can't take it off to empty it. Oh well, never mind. We need to take solace in the fact that we're in a beautiful place and all is well. And even if we can't tip stuff down the sink very easily, um, then life is really not over, is it? So uh, I just had a conversation on Zoom with a friend of mine who said, oh, look, you're in a car park. And I went, yeah, OK, let me show you our car park. Here is our car park. Here is where we're staying. So you know what? Yes, it's a car park, but come on, guys. That's not bad for a car park, is it? So this is us in the beach park in Marrera. And we've been here a few days and we've been so grateful to be here because it means that we can at least have some space to do what we need to do with Gus the bus. Tomorrow we're going to have to wend our way out of here. We've been clinging to the Marrera rock. <laughs> so long um and we need to be we need to be gone so we're going to meet up or i'm going to meet up with um a couple of lovely students of mine who live just outside alicante and then i have another meeting with another friend my oldest friend and we will be meeting up because she and her husband are on holiday so it's lots of social and then oh wait going to be great. So um, I will see you later. Bye bye. Out there chasing rainbows, jumping over hedges, flying like a spider. Say